Greetings. I was just getting ready to take the little champ inside and place it with its brothers and sisters. And it occurred to me the one thing that's missing, I think, is a nice little name tag of some sort identifying it um, somewhere on the grow cloth like Fender does and most amplifier makers do. Now I know you can go to these computer art stores or places that engrave uh, plaques for bowling trophies and things of that sort. But if you made the amp all by yourself, why not make the plaque yourself too? And I've developed a way to do this easily at home. First step is go to your computer and using like Microsoft Word or WordPerfect, design your nameplate. Do your artwork, uh, crazy fonts, whatever you want. Um, and then be sure that it's uh, in a nice bold uh, print and that it's exactly the size that you want for your nameplate. Next step is print it on your laser printer. Then take the page that it's printed on and set it down on your work table. Then using a gloss laminating sheet. Uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby. They're dirt cheap. It's like, I don't know, a couple dollars for several sheets. Be sure it's gloss. The sheets actually look like this. Normally you will sandwich like your uh, social security card or something like that between two pieces of this, but we're just going to use one piece. It's crystal clear acrylic and it's sticky backed. Then tape one sheet of the clear acrylic uh, laminating material right over your printed logo. Then place that piece uh, in the feeding section of your laser printer with the laminated side up exactly as the paper was oriented when you first printed it. And then print one more time. This time the uh, logo will be on the laminating sheet. Like so. In my case, the sheet got canted a little bit. Maybe the tape got hot and loose, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I have my logo now on the uh, uh, laminating sheet with plenty of margin around the outside to cut it out. Then uh, draw some nice margins around your logo on the original printed sheet and cut out either a piece of aluminum or a little thin piece of sheet metal. Even plexiglass will work and you can get use different colors if you want. In my case this is a little piece of aluminum and I cut it out to match the uh, borders that I have drawn up here, the exact size. Now in my case since the hardware on the amp is a gold I have uh, spray painted the plate to be exactly the same color as the hardware. Then cut out around your uh, printed logo and very carefully stick it onto the plate. Center it the best you can. Um, just be real careful here because you really can't undo it. You'll have to print a new one if this doesn't work right. Then using one of your single edge razor blades, a leftover from the upholstery video, you trim all the way around uh, and remove the excess laminating material. Also, it should be noted, you don't have to stick this onto a piece of metal for a nameplate. Uh, you can also uh, print out uh, the labels for the controls on your amp, like volume and tone and things like that, and just cut around the label and stick it onto your amplifier chassis. That's what I did on the little uh, Champ chassis. Now, if you anticipate a lot of wear and tear on the front of your amp, like ladies' underwear and beer cans and other things being thrown at you, uh, you can cover this little tag with another layer of the laminating material or a piece of that UPS clear tape. Just be real careful you don't get any bubbles. And then just trim around the edge and you'll have a fairly bulletproof little name tag. Now all that's left is to attach this to the grill cloth of the amp. Uh, I guess I could have drilled holes and used screws. Uh, you can use a little um, 
of the uh, silicone glue on the back, a couple little dots, and, and lay your amp on its back and just set this down where you want it. And be sure it's exactly where you want it because it's not coming loose. Uh, double stick tape, something like that, uh, that will attach it to your grill cloth. And here's the amp with the nameplate installed. I think it's a real nice uh, finishing touch. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate your time and interest. And I hope to see you again in the near future. Thanks for watching.